Okay, it's Mark, and this video lecture is going to be about dividing fractions, okay, and the reciprocal. So first, let's start off with this thought exercise. Pretend these four circles here are four pizzas, okay, so you got four pizzas, and you slice them up into slices of eight, so let's do that. So two, four... Okay, 6, 8, 2, 4, okay, 6, 8. So I'm, I'm just slicing these pizzas up in 8 slices. It's not perfect, that's okay. But it'll get the point across. So originally you had 4 pizzas, 1, 2, 3, 4. If you add them up, 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's 4. Okay. So you got 4 pizzas. So, dividing fraction, the concept is, if I divided those four pizzas into eight equal slices, how many slices do I now have? So that problem is four divided by one over eight. Okay. Now, in order to divide a fraction, a fraction by the fraction, you always take the fraction that is behind the division symbol and get the reciprocal. So it's the reciprocal of a fraction. Just basically what's in the numerator goes in the denominator, what's in the denominator goes in the numerator. Okay. So if I write 4 as a fraction, that's just 4 over 1. You know, any whole number over 1 is, is a fraction. And I'm going to get the reciprocal of this fraction that's behind the division symbol and multiply. So 1 over 8, the reciprocal of 1 over 8 is 8 over 1. So 4 divided by 1 times 8 over 1 is 32 over 1, or 32. So in other words, if I had 4 slices of pizza, and I divided it into 8, I would now have 32 slices of 8. Okay. So now let's just practice getting the reciprocal here. Okay, so what is the reciprocal of negative 16 over 5? All you got to do is what's in the denominator goes in the numerator, what's in the numerator goes in the denominator, and keep your minus sign either at the top or off to the side. So the reciprocal of negative 16 over 5 is negative 5 over 16. Okay? So we're not saying negative 16 over 5 equals negative 5 over 16. We're saying the reciprocal of negative 16 over 5 is negative 5 over 16. Okay, what's the reciprocal of negative 3 over 20? That's negative 20 over 3, okay? What's the reciprocal of 17? Well, you can think of negative 17 as negative 17 over 1. So that becomes negative 1 over 17. And the same thing is going to happen with 16. What's the reciprocal of negative 16? Well, you can think of negative 16 as negative 16 over 1, so that becomes negative 1 over 16. Once again, always put your negative symbol at the top or off to the side. Okay? Now let's do some division. Okay. So once again, how do you divide fractions? You take the fraction divided by a fraction, you take the fraction that is behind the division symbol and you multiply. So negative 8 over 23 divided by negative 6 over 11 is going to turn to negative, excuse me, 8 over 23, that's supposed to be positive, 8 over 23 times negative 11 over 6. And then before you multiply a fraction, you always want to try to reduce, because that just makes your life easier when you're multiplying by smaller numbers. So can we do any reducing here? Well, this look. 8 in the numerator, 6 in the denominator. Both of those are even, so you got two even numbers. You know they're divisible by 2. Okay. So 8 divided by 2 gives you a 4. 6 divided by 2 gives you a 3. Okay. Now we're going to multiply those numbers. Positive 4 times negative 11 is negative 44. 23 times 3 is 69. So 
negative 8 over 23 divided by negative 6 over 11 is negative 44 over 69. Looks good? All right. Let's look at the next one. Okay. So we got negative 10 over 21 divided by negative 6 over 5. So we're dividing two fractions. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the fraction that is behind the division symbol. I'm going to flip it and I'm going to multiply. Okay, I'm going to get the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of negative 6 over 5 is negative 5 over 6. Okay, before I multiply, I see if I can reduce. So are there any numbers that can go into both? Excuse me, is there something in the numerator and there's something in the denominator? Okay, something in one of the numerators, something in one of the denominators that have a common factor. Okay, well 10 and 6 are both even. Now remember, one has to be in the numerator, one has to be in the denominator. So what number can go in both 10 and 6? Well, since they're both even, that's 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 6 divided by 2, 3. So now it becomes negative 5 times negative 5. What's well, a negative times a negative positive? So that will be 25 in our numerator. 21 times 3, that will be 63 in our denominator. Okay? That's good. Let's go into the next one. 7 over 3 divided by 10 over 11. Negative 10 over 11. Divide in fractions. So the first thing we're going to do is get the reciprocal of the fraction that is behind the division symbol. So that becomes negative 21 over 10. Okay. Let's do some reducing. So, do we see any common factors in our numerators? One in the numerator, one in the denominator. How about negative 21 and 3? They're both divisible by 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is a 1. 21 divided by 3 is 7. So, it's 7 times negative 7. Negative 49. What is 1 times 10? That is 10. Okay, and there's a whole lot of things you can do with the fraction like that. You could turn to a mixed number. Uh, we could leave it as an improper fraction. We could turn to a decimal. Right now, we're just going to leave it just like that. So that's good. Okay, no need to do anything else. All right, how about this one right here? So we got 5 over 6 divided by 20 over 19. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is get the reciprocal of this fraction right here since it is behind the division symbol. So that's going to be 5 over 6 times 19 over 20. Okay. And then we're going to look for some common factors. One has to be in the numerator, one has to be in the denominator. So you see anything that can be reduced here. Well, 5 and 20, one's in the numerator, one's in the denominator. Both divisible by 5. So it's 5 divided by 5. 1. What's 20 divided by 5? Four. Okay. So, 1 times 19, what does that give us? 19. 6 times 4, what does that give us? 24. So, 19 over 24 is the answer to 5, 6 divided by 20 over 19. So, once again, when you think about dividing fractions. You can think about the little pizza example here at the beginning. Okay, this concludes my video lecture about dividing fractions. And you can find some more videos online, www.supergenius99.com, our YouTube as well. Plenty of people out there giving uh, free video lectures, so I hope you enjoy, learn something, pass your tests. Thank you. Goodbye.